what is the pathway for the Knicks to get a star? Yeah, it's simple, right? There's going to be a disgruntled player in the league, or there's going to be a situation where a team cannot afford a player's contract, and that player is going to be dealt. That happens regularly uh, in every season. So the this the scenario is going to be there. The opportunity is going to be there. The Knicks, in my mind, if you're talking about the trade deadline or the offseason, the Knicks, what has to happen is they get comfortable giving up uh, the kind of picks that they were not comfortable giving up in that Donovan Mitchell deal and the kind of players that they were not comfortable giving up in the Donovan Mitchell deal. And I guess the best case scenario for New York is, is several of the young players start to excel, start to take a step forward. So when a team asks for one or two of them, you know, you're, you're more comfortable doing that and you can still retain some of your young talent in, in that scenario. So it's tricky because, you know, there's always teams that are going to be aggressive, other teams that are going to be aggressive when these situations arise. But the Knicks still have, in my mind, the, the top treasure chest or one of the top treasure chests in the league when you're talking about pursuing elite talent via trade. So it's just a matter of how aggressive do they want to be and do, do they do they learn anything from their past pursuit of Donovan Mitchell in ways that they would change or would they just do it the same way? But at some point, you have to land – that big star, whether it's via trade or free agency, because I, I think that it's not fair to say about Leon Rose and William Wesley that, that that's the only reason they were brought here, but that's part of the reason they're here to land that top player. So I think as time goes by, the days go by, the seasons go by, the pressure to do that only mounts.